go. You know it. Twelve year old girl reportedly suffocated eight year old cousin in dispute over iPhone. Police say. This is in Tennessee. A twelve year old girl. Mm. Hold on. Wait. Say it again. I'm That's about to run the news clip. Fuck you up. A disturbing baby. situation happening in Humboldt, Tennessee, where a twelve year old girl <laughs> is accused of suffocating. Her eight-year-old cousin with bedding. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The district attorney for Gibson County, Frederick AG, confirms this heartbreaking news which happened Monday. It happened in oh, Humboldt, about two hours northeast of Memphis. Investigators say they received surveillance video from a home security camera capturing the killing. The video shows the 12-year-old girl using the bedding to suffocate her eight-year-old cousin while she was asleep on the top bunk of the beds they shared. Afterwards, we're told the girl cleaned up the victim and repositioned her body. Humboldt police have filed a petition of delinquency charging the tween with first degree murder and tampering with evidence. Mm -hmm. District Attorney AG's office is petitioning juvenile judge Mark Johnson to transfer the delinquent child to circuit court to be tried as an adult. Neither girl lived in Humboldt. They were just visiting family members. We will continue to follow that story. I got two issues with this and then I'm done talking about it. First issue, why the fuck is they charging this 12-year-old girl as an adult? Because? I'm going to answer it for y'all. It's because she's black. Number two, this is why I don't let my kids go. No fucking where without me. Unless they're going to my mama house. That is crazy, bro. I want to double back on that first question. Mm-hmm. That's premeditated murder. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that. That's was. why they want to charge her as an adult because you knew what you was doing. This wasn't a, an act of passion. Like, oh, I was so mad. I just, I didn't think she was gonna yeah. die. This was, I killed moment. that bitch. Mm-hmm. I made it look like she fell. Asleep. She died in her sleep, she, and she, that was my iPhone. True, it was bro, on a but no, but yeah, hell, yeah. bro. And if it was a crazy ass yeah, white yeah. boy, they would try to yeah, blame yeah. on mental health and all this that's other true. shit to get now, him out. They were in a on a they were on a bunk bed. That's true. They were on a bunk bed, and she suffocated her, and then. Try to proposition proposition the body For like sure. nothing. She's twelve and her brain ain't even developed. I agree it. with him. Hold on, I, no, I was just bro. about to ask that. What is the? Uh, She's twelve and her brain what, ain't what, even developed. The, the age development of a uh, because uh, you know they say women's brain develop a Bastard. little bit. Yeah. I mean, that's you know that's that's, that's, that's myth. They also the said tornadoes wouldn't come to Dayton either. I don't know anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah. They said, they said, they said, milk can make you strong. Right, now you, hey, now your bones hey, breaking. Hey, Twenty years hey, later, well, I don't know what. Hey, what hey, I don't hey, know what. Hey, white kid, if it was a white kid that premeditatedly made all these motherfucking <laughs> bombs in his room, they would blame that shit on mental health. Yeah, and let that nigga down there walk free. You got cable? Do you watch the Weed Channel? Do you watch any of them? Um, <laughs> all right, so let me ask you. Them channels be fucking skating. So what do you think calls for this this situation? What do you What do you I think is the like I said? I'm in the but, middle. No, bro, I, I got a damn near eight year old, my damn self. That's what I'm saying. So, like, bro, I I, I see so both sides, yeah, like you like, saying, bro. What like the fuck? How so from you, you got a this, point. But, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm on the overall perspective the on the situation. Phones, right? They addicting. This Fact. whole situation comes from two things to me. Lack of parenting, mm-hmm. true, and what the fuck this kid was watching. To even know how to, to do mind, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Think about what they said this kid does. Yeah, you let's play the, at the average twelve. I we've all been twelve. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was eleven. We was we we've all been twelve, mm-hmm. right? Not and me. we didn't watch movies that have killings in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we didn't yeah. probably play cops and robbers and bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? The niggas acted like they was dead. We'd hold our breath for about 20 seconds to try that like we was, you know. <laughs> this little girl premeditated hmm. all these uh, blue bloods. Dexter. All these, them there, every show. Everything in life right now is either a sexual, B, violence. And they push that shit. Mm-hmm. So ain't no telling what this little girl has been watching, has been left to watch. Because a lot of people are left to fend for themselves and they grow up by themselves. So again, lack of parenting, because if the parents was... If, 
Hold you, on. Because if the parents was, what you mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You All don't right. have no details about cool. the parents. Now, you don't know that. I said okay. it's two things. That... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to play a little game with you, Scrooge. And Say it is called Devil's Advocate with Slim Beasy. Hey. You are now in the hot seat. All right, so. Yeah. That's everything you was just saying, right? Talking uh -huh. about how everything in media is sexualized and violence, right? Bro, we grew up on Grand Theft Auto. I, I wasn't Start really there. a gamer, but I, I, it was. It don't matter was because you, you, you know about it, right? Facts. Like, bro, what? I watched American Psycho. Facts. Like, there was so much violence in the 90s and the early 2000s. I was once 12, and I never thought about killing none of my siblings because they took the game my point, or the exactly. TV. That's my point. You, so you're proving my point, sir. With that being said, in today's world, what it, what is being it, what is accessible to a 12 year old, we didn't have access to. Niggas pulling up. I just that said, motherfuckers is, at, 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 at 12 years old, we, even with a parent or both parents or whatever the fuck the case may be, a lot of some of us did end up off on the far deep end. It was one area. That slipped through the cracks that was just on the far side. He wasn't no coming back. Mm -hmm. But I in today's know. world, bro, they are exposed a lot. Uh, they are exposed to a lot more than we were. Nah, bro. When we were bullshit, bro. Nah, we bro. didn't have cell phones. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have none of that shit, bro. And all these motherfucking kids, everybody got a phone. Everybody on Instagram. Everybody bro, got a Snapchat. You, hey, hey. They saying all type of shit, bro. Somebody phone going crazy. I'm say, I feel like yeah, but, uh, it, was, it was on airplane mode. But look, bro, I just told you we had the same shit. We watched the same violence. We had violent entertainment. We had violent mm -hmm. television. That's exactly what I was going to say. So it's like, how can you sit here and, and make that excuse for them? No, that something was wrong with that little girl. Fact. Whether she had a medical, mental health, whatever, she needs to so. be medicated because that sounds like a nutcase to me. <laughs> I think uh, so. So again, so again, she's 12 years old. How the fuck she going to get some treatment if ain't nobody taking her to get treated? Damn, but we, you don't know that. If like, she got medication, who the fuck making Scrooge. sure that she's supposed Scrooge. to take medicine? Scrooge. Scrooge. Don't know that from the little bit of the story that I did you get, no, cousin. first what? of all, from the little bit of the story that I did get, the 12-year-old was living, the mom the daughter that got killed, that was her mom. The 12 year old was a cousin living with the, so the mom took her in. So like, you don't, we don't know more details about her parenting and everything for, for you to say that they was on bunk beds hey. and kids do get jealous about video games. And everything. It's stories back then when, when kids was trying to hurt other motherfucking kids because they had something that they didn't, that uh, they didn't have at home. It, it's that stories that out there. Yeah. I didn't say it's stories out what there. What they did. And I watched again, my son I watched my son smack the fuck out of a goddamn kid over him losing point. a video you game, and I had to whoop his behind. That's an anger management problem, and not, okay, and, and, and I we corrected all deal with that. it, but I'm saying. Ooh, hold on, mental health wait, 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 too. Just put my point. Mental you health right? too, but what? that meant that girl probably had what? mental health issues. You did what? You did what? You corrected him. You did what? And you are what? Okay, but you still don't no, know the details no. about her parenting what? to judge her. Anything outside of the story is only assumption. Okay, true enough. True enough. But. Knowing, okay, so her being a cousin, the auntie coming in. If there is an issue, trust and believe me, this auntie is not no fucking. Uh, uh, I'm sure she was in a far distance. They just found her. You don't hey, know. Yet. You are the last uh, relative or whatever. Or are you willing to take your niece? I'm sure she know about if I mean, there's the, any issues. All right, and then here's one more thing to take into account. If she ain't get diagnosed, how they, can she they, know? Come they on, man. They going to question. question. You a, you a question if somebody mark. don't get one diagnosed mic, with one something. One mic, one mic. They, they had to have questioned her once that they took her in for questioning once the crime was committed. You don't think... I feel like she has no remorse in the crime. That's why they're like, man, you know what? We need to lock your ass up for a long time. Now, y'all might be saying, you know what? Let me make... It's in Tennessee. And you know Tennessee? Yeah. It's, it's still... That's where, still that's where Brianna, 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 Brianna got killed up. She now, that was get, Kentucky. Kentucky. She might get locked up in a oh, mental... Was, mental. We don't agree. know. We got to yeah, wait it yeah, out. Yeah, they, and I, and that's what I'm saying. Right, Hopefully, man. they don't get cool. to charge her as there an adult. But hopefully she gets the help because I feel like she. she oh, like, she, but let's be honest, too, Beezy. If she if, might wake if it up was at sixteen, like damn, I can't believe I killed my cousin. Nah, for real. If she get rehab, uh, rehabilitated, but let's I don't just say know what was going through my mind. What if the parent was a problem, come on now, they would have got child neglect. Yeah, for sure. They would have got child neglect sure. if the parent was the problem as well. This sounds so like we a don't freak know, thing. Scrooge. Like you know, yo. 
your siblings just staying the night with each other, and then you woke up and yeah, didn't say she it tried to dress it up it like, oh, she died in her sleep. Yeah, she did. Yeah. No, no, yeah, baby. She did. I mean, did. What are you watching? She talked the no, body like, and everything. What are you watching? You ain't. You be... don't just fathom this. You don't just, at twelve. You're not just know. thinking yeah, that shit, ain't bro. Try to cover Kids up, mimic like, shit. What is she watching? What does she have access though. to? That ain't no difference than spilling the milk out the cereal and trying to hide it under a towel or something. It is. A lot. It could be mental. Mm. It's possible. That's I ain't saying that it ain't. All I was saying is. That's almost like <laughs> she's only twelve, Man. and they on her. They trying to bound her over as an adult. As an adult, she's not even close to fifteen. Yeah, I was just about to say I can see if she was like fourteen, fifteen. Well, that don't even that's matter. Different. Shit, I was fifteen. I was bound over and charged as an adult. That's what I'm saying. But this is 15, what I, mentally bro, you a 12, different bro. at fifteen it's three and years 12. difference. Go ahead, Nino. This is what I'm gonna say. I've been a kid before. And I've done a lot of shit that had absolutely nothing to do with nobody else's influence. Yeah. Nothing I seen on TV. I was just somebody? a kid being a kid. No. Wow. But all right, this is an example. So mm -hmm. I was like five or six. My brother, he left his lighter in my uh in my room. My older brother James, he ain't shit. Um <laughs> Fuck James. Ain't shit James. For sure. <laughs> but um my sister in law. My cousin and my aunt was downstairs. I'm upstairs fucking with his lighter, lighting the little strings off of the uh, off of the bed sheet. You know how I got them loose strings? Mm -hmm. Lighting the fire, putting it out. Uh, lighting the fire, putting, putting it out. out. <laughs> lighting the fire, think I put it out. They called my name. Mm. The fire then bled up into the actual sheet. Now my bed's on fire. Damn. Damn. Goofy. Nigga, I didn't see nobody playing with no lighters. I ain't see nobody burning the strings off of a... Sometimes <laughs> you just a kid and you don't need an influence to do some shit that mm -hmm. you normally wouldn't do. That's real shit. Hey, that's so it, it it don't got to necessarily be something that you watch on TV or something that you've seen somebody else do or something that the, the fucking... Something on YouTube. So you did it on purpose? Sometimes. No. Did you I mean the same story? Because I'm, I'm wondering... I'm, no, what I'm saying is me playing with a lighter, there was no there was no influence for me to do that. I just did it because I wanted to I was just you That's feel what me? he was doing that Nobody day. put him up to but, it. Yeah, but he yeah. said sometimes it don't take an influence. That's why I'm like, That's what I'm sure saying. he didn't do it on purpose. Because he said nobody <laughs> No, I used the lighter on purpose. I didn't set the bed on fire on purpose. The bed ain't the story, it's the fact that I was doing some shit that I normally wouldn't do with no influence. I used to be a firebug, so me too. What did you do that for? Alright, man. I did it because I was I was point. into the flame. I used to like the Alright, this is my last one. I want to talk. What's up? First time over. Hey, we're good. Alright, this is my last topic before we get out of here, man. This is Big Sean. Kanye gave me the worst deal ever and owes me over six million. Bro, every time I went to try to look at that shit. Oh my record deal and said this is a Record deal. When you say management, you're not saying Rock Nation? Yeah, I'm saying Rock Nation. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm saying Jay Brown. Mm -hmm. Said it was wow. the worst deal he'd ever seen. Wow. Oh. And this man, I had to spend my own money auditing my label because millions of dollars are missing, and you could tell when millions of dollars are missing. Oh, of course. Right? Yes. You should be. I, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on my label mm -hmm. thinking Universal owed me this money, and the money had been paid to good music. So let me ask you before we finish. No, let me ask you, bro. Yeah. If somebody owed you five hundred thousand dollars, how would you feel? I would feel. And they was up a hundred million. How would yeah, you feel? Crazy. How, what if they, they owed you a million? Yeah. What if they owed you three million? Right. Okay. What if they owed you five million dollars? Right. What if they owed you six? And no, and, listen, listen. Okay. What if they owed you that, bro? Right. I understand. And you showed up for them and you did all these things, right? Right. And they up billions. Right. My manager saw my record deal and said, "This is a." Record deal. When you say management, you're not saying Rock Nation. All right. Did anybody else know this? Yeah. I, I, went, I, I went. seen I the Dream Champs the interview. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know the extent of how but she was getting no Vaseline. How often have we talked about read your paperwork? Has somebody properly read your paperwork? Like whose fault is that that you decided to sign your, your soul away for whatever you got out of it? 
the, the mm-hmm. same paperwork. Hey, bro, you sound manager. like a Kanye fan right now. Why no, I sound like a smart nigga. I sound like a smart guy. I sound like somebody that knows that I've seen how history repeats Pieces itself. Exactly. Yeah. How many years have we heard about a motherfucker okay. getting Fuck. fucking done dirty? And they, the first thing they say is, I should have read the paperwork. Okay. I was True too enough. thirsty to get out the hood. The True money enough. looked too good. Man, I should have did that. Did that. Ben said that. No, but that's cool. Wait, what you gonna wait for it to be my turn and I'm gonna do the same shit? I watch all the people I love tell me where they fucked okay. up at. You don't think I know what happened to TLC? Nino. All the bad boys. Huh? Twin. Huh? Bad boy. <laughs> Huh? Nah, what? Why did you get that man in six M's? Fuck because him in, in the paperwork, I didn't have to. I'm going to say Rock Nation Ta-da. was supposed to get in there. Fuck <laughs> with you. Big Sean said he Nation was blessed. Was no, was Rock Nation, Nation was supposed to sign it to the label that you're signed to, and they're supposed to distribute the money to you. That's why when niggas be like, you signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga that signned to a nigga. Uh-huh. That check get t- three, four times before it touch your and account. 360 though. deal. Mm-hmm. Nigga, and you told so you so thirsty to get some money, you ain't even reading the fine print. Thanks. Call us if this causes diarrhea, heart attacks. <laughs> 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 the same contract, <laughs> the same contract that, that your print. manager now talking about this is a shitty deal. Nigga, it's the same contract from back then. Yeah. So why you ain't have a nigga look at it back then? They thirsty. They thirsty mm-hmm. for that little money on the never Cause him and Kanye was buddy buddies. They was like, man, it's the best deal you ever gonna I get, got you, bro. I love Selling you. your soul. Bro, I, I love got you, bro. bro. And if I had been him, soul. he'd have been like, yeah, I love you. I'm like, yeah, I love you too. My my lawyer highlighted in green the shit that we had that we want yeah, revised. We gonna send that to you tomorrow in your email. Mm-hmm. I love you though, gang. Selling your soul <laughs> like Charleston White. <laughs> Charleston got his soul. <laughs> Throw that back in the air. He lost the eye, not a soul. <laughs> he lost the yeah, lost the eye. <laughs> Just like that one dude, that Houston nigga, that I like that. Hey, yeah, lost you know the they eye. said that's Fetty Wap for real. Oh, that's conspiracy though. Don't get me started. <laughs> <man>. And listen, <laughs> this has been an experience for me. A great pod, man. I had yes. a great Burn. time. Hey, I you like were arguing a great B, bro. For sure, Seriously, for sure, I made a great sure. decision calling you up here, bro. Hey, shout out to the <laughs> both of us. Hey. Hey. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm what's up. it. Yeah, that part. <laughs> what we got going on this weekend, gang? Y'all doing anything worth talking about? Mm. I think so. I just can't remember right now. Boy. Chilling with my buddy Nathan. I know that's right. <laughs> shit. I'm but shit. To think. I feel like I had something. You too. I just can't remember. Shit, I'm gonna say if matter. it ain't nothing but slaving and behaving, we're gonna get to swinging. Nah. Y'all got some music y'all wanna go out to? <sighs> well, that was a great time to ask. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know what? I got something for oh you. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, my Keep God. Keep the conversation. Yeah. Keep the conversation yeah. going for you. while like I, I send something, something through. Like here? Here you go. <laughs> hey, um, looking asses. Movies. TV. Anything new? Uh, that college football fire. Oops. Okay, so, so shout okay. out. Okay. You got it. So, I got it. What you talking about? You ain't coming. Got your head tapped. That is crazy. Hey man, what? I'm still trying to. Man, I, I you get, like, had it way before me. I'm still getting my feet, hey, man. I just got a championship with UD before I got here, man. Oh my. Hey. This nigga, man. After four he years, I, shit I got UD. After team builder, yeah, the University yeah. of Dayton at oh, Welcome damn. Stadium. Somebody did UD football, Lord have me. Hey, we just won the championship, oh, man. Nobody I, I, Call after of Duty. four long nobody played Call of Duty. Yeah, we just waiting on. I don't uh, own the game, so I can't relate to none of this shit. I would be on the game, but they they relegated since the last mm-hmm. game. That's crazy. I don't even think UD got. I would have tried to go with Central. They do. They dominate every year, but they're just in a real low division. Man, I think you think it's cap. Damn. Hey, let's go to a game. I'm with, I'm with all that. UD. Y'all niggas going to the game? Can I go? Yep. Why would well, look, you? if you go, you can't be in that motherfucker. Where does the body like go without the brain? What the fuck you talking about? What game? A UD game. A 
UD game. Can we go to a Dayton Dragons game? I'm mm -hmm. down. I fucked with We got to hurry up game. before it's over. Yeah. I need this. Want me to send this to your messenger? You can yeah. play it off your messenger? I think so. for that shit. Think Everybody can't. has an I know that. Nah, you hate. <laughs> you hate. You niggas was not ready. Get, no, I'm not hating. Head. You just niggas was just not ready. Damn. And you the same. I'm Damn. the same Damn. what? Damn. I don't know. Give me what? Don't shit on me, man. <laughs> he said, don't <laughs> shit on me. <laughs> Go ahead, BZ. Come on, man. Get hey, us up out of here, man. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a podcast. Mm -hmm. Just not this podcast. When we no, 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 no. Run oh, that back. Run hey, that back. hey. Asshole. Run that back. No diddy. You know what? Run that back. B Mike, man. you do it for me. Man, listen, man. He don't know either. Y'all stay tuned, man. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> hey, listen, this is the unforgettable podcast, man. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody got an asshole. Everybody got a podcast. Just, Just not this, this podcast. podcast. So we going to stay tuned, man. Everybody look at the camera and tell them motherfuckers when you'll see them, huh? In, In a, a minute, minute, boy. Take it easy. Hope. Bitch. <laughs> That's my twin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>